Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom this afternoon. I am Abisola Adebayo. Former Imo State Governor Richard Sokorich has been remanded in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, pending the determination of his bail application. Justice Inyangeko of the Federal High Court in Abuja gave the remand order on Monday, a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress and an ally to the ex-governor, Ayim Chineya is also expected to join Okorocha in the EFCC custody. Okorocha, Chineya and five companies were arraigned on 17 counts of money laundering filed by the EFCC. Meanwhile, the ancient town of Kaba in the Kogi West Central District has been rocked by another explosion at a beer parlor. This is the second explosion in the same community in the space of one month. The explosion was said to have occurred on Sunday night at a beer parlor joint opposite a police station. The first explosion, which generated controversies as to whether it was a bomb or a gas cylinder, occurred on May 11 at a beer parlor around Lewu Junction in Kaba Town. Meanwhile, the command's public relations officer, Williams Aya, who confirmed the incident incident said there was no casualty in Sunday's explosion. Nigeria has recorded its first death from monkeypox disease since the beginning of the year 2022, the nation's disease outbreak management agency has announced. In the last five months, Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, revealed that it has 21 cases from nine states and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Giving updates about the infection in a statement on Sunday, NCDC Director General Dr. Ifeda Yadetifa explained that the death was reported in a 40-year-old patient who had underlying comorbidity and was on immunosuppressive medications. He thereafter added that among the 21 cases reported so far, there has been no evidence of any new or unusual transmission of the virus, nor changes in its clinical manifestations documented. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta has rallied Kenyans to continue being cautious of COVID-19. Kenyatta added that despite the relaxation of COVID-19 disease containment measures, the danger of infection spreading still locks. The head of state spoke on Sunday at the State House Nairobi when he presided over the 92nd inspection parade of the St. John Ambulance Kenya, where he announced a 150 million shillings annual government sponsorship for the organization. The president, who is the chief patron of the humanitarian institution, challenged it to include more young people in its activities by engaging learning institutions at primary, secondary and tertiary levels. The country's external reserves hit a seven-month low after falling to $38.57 billion as of May 25. According to reports, the continuous decline in the country's external reserves used to defend the Naira value is making the banks tighten access to foreign exchange to travelers and other legitimate users as casinos as scarcity by its order. According to figures obtained from the CBN on movement in external reserves, the reserves, which had been fluctuating for weeks now, experienced its lowest in October 2021. Due to scarcity, many banks are extending waiting period to access forex for foreign trips, thereby denying travelers with urgent trips access to apply for personal travel allowance or the business travel allowance requests. Russian subscribers have lost access to streaming giant Netflix in the latest pullout of a Western company over the conflict in Ukraine. The Netflix sites and apps were no longer available from Friday, and a Netflix spokesperson confirmed that subscribers no longer had access. The US-based platform announced in early March that it was withdrawing from Russia after Moscow sent thousands of troops into pro-Western Ukraine. The spokesperson said the company had waited until the end of the current billing cycle before cutting off customers. Miwa Sadio Mane is set to inform Liverpool of his desire to leave the club this summer, with Bayern Munich leading the race to sign the Senegal star. The 30 year old is understood to be ready for a new challenge, having spent the last six years on Mayer's side and had entered before the Champions League final that an announcement on his future was imminent. According to reports, the Senegal international won't be extending his contract at Anfield, which is due to expire next summer, and that Bayern are the prime candidate to sign him. But that's all on the newsroom at this time. Thank you for watching.